The World That Isn't by Frank Tashlin. Once upon a long time ago, the world was created. It was brand new, bright, and shiny. There was no one on it. Then the first two humans were created. One was a brand new man, and the other was a brand new woman. They were the only people in the world. They looked around and saw that everything necessary for their life and happiness had been provided for and was on the world in abundance. In time, the first two people became the more people, and the more people became the much more people, and the much more people became the much, much more people, and the much, much more people became the muchiest, moriest people. The first period in their history was known as the Stone Age. During the Stone Age, primitive people were afraid. They gathered together above the ground, on the ground, and below the ground, seeking protection. Only the fittest survived in prehistoric times. Primitive man hunted to find food for himself. and his loved ones. Then the Ice Ages came. In the intervals between the Ice Ages, the climate was warm. During this era, language developed. Now man was able to communicate with his fellows. Then man discovered fire. Man discovered art. Man discovered the calendar. Man discovered the wheel. And in the ages that followed, man continued to progress. In time, he developed the ability to think and act with intelligence. Man worshipped many gods. Then a child was born. When this child became older, he went among the people and he spoke to them in simple words that made a great deal of sense. But most of the people missed the point. Of course, a few understood, but they were too few. Then came the Middle Ages, and the Dark Ages. The printing press aided man in his quest for knowledge. Then came the age of exploration, brave, Fearless, intrepid men ventured forth into the great unknown and found new lands. Colonization followed. Empires rose and fell. The industrial age brought about mass production and scientific farming. Then came the modern age. And for the first time, man began to question everything, all he had been taught, all he had read, all he had heard. But this was difficult to do. In spite of the opposition, Man continued trying to think for himself, even though it was more difficult than... or... or... It was even more difficult than... or... then, or then, or then, or then, or then, or then, but... 
Finally, man did think for himself. He made a decision. He knew what to do. And he did it. The explosion made a big hole in the ground. Everyone came from everywhere and threw everything they didn't need into the hole. But they saved the things they did need. A non-noosable rope was invented. The last weapon in the world was eliminated when pedestrians taught the motorists the use of their feet. And even the leaders of state did some work. Then came the Industrial Revolution, and man learned to use his hands. Then came the Emancipation of Women. A famous actress tried to start a new trend in hairstyles, but no one imitated her. Then man asked, why do we crowd into one place when there is so much space in the world? No one could answer this. So, they tore down every structure that wasn't important and planted lovely trees instead. Of course, there were some who could not adjust to a changing world. But, there were some who did. And so, they all lived happily ever after in the wonderful world they had created. And whenever they looked back into the past, they realized that at last they were living in the age of civilization. The Beginning